All right, here we go. <clears throat> there you go. Now, the funny thing about this song, My Dreams of You, is that it's your typical boy meets girl love song. And uh, it goes on like that for the duration of the song. And it's fine, you know, it's a great tune, it, it, it was a great hit, etc. However, when it came time to do the video for it, we thought that if we added more honey to what was already there, we were going to end up really sticky. So we decided to do the video the exact opposite of what the song was. In other words, instead of being this na 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 thing, we decided to put ourselves, to set ourselves up as homeless people, the members of the band, as homeless people around a makeshift campfire downtown Montreal in a dark alley. And all of a sudden in a, a, lim in a limousine comes this otherworldly, super beautiful woman. Nobody knows what she's all about, but she just steps into that building with the chauffeur and the butler and everything, and she conducts her business there. And we, the idiots that we are, decide to take a shot at seducing this woman, one after the other. And so we set ourselves up in different characters trying to get her attention. And eventually, as you can imagine, everything goes wrong, and we end up back where we started. No progress there. The interesting thing is that we directed that video, and so we spent the whole night in a true dark alley in the back of Montreal. That was right next to the space where we used to her rehearse. And we shot the video for an entire night, and I don't remember having had so much fun in my entire life. It was just, we were just cracking up every other scene. It was fantastic. And by the way, here on Discover, see this guy there with the head, and the, the box on his head with faces on the box? This was actually from a painting that was done by Richard Etu, a Montreal painter who was very successful. And he gave us the painting graciously, or at least the permission to use it to do the cover. Now, it so happens that on stage, I would make a box to go on my head and we would open the show like that. I had a kind of dress. Um, rem it, it was a reminder of uh, the early Genesis days when uh, Peter Gabriel walked on stage with different outfits. But I had this head there, this, this box on my head with the different faces, everything would be black. And then with a uh, mechanical system, I'd get this box to rotate. Now the thing is, it worked 99% of the time. But the one time that Much Music came to Montreal to tape the entire show that we did at the Montreal Spectrum uh, with this unit and device on my head, of course, it decided not to work. And I was looking like a complete fool on stage trying to get that thing to start spinning there and it wouldn't budge at all. So that was quite an embarrassment. But all in all, that record really made it for us. There are other songs in there <clears throat> which hit the, the charts and it ended up being just uh, the beginning of an adventure that took us here to Toronto and everywhere in Canada and elsewhere in the world. And it was just a fantastic adventure consider myself to be the luckiest guy alive, really. That song never seems to finish, does it? 